So I need to make some directories. Make a directory, take MF, wait. Can I undo this? Oh yeah, I've heard of a command called RM. I should be able to undo that. Can I redo that? What if I have to fill until it works? I should keep notes. Oh. Yeah. You'll see where I'm going with this. I should also note how I can undo it. And as I go on, I'll enrich this. And I'll also enrich that. Line by line. Okay. Let's see. Not bad, not bad. And according to it, I can do RM, R, take MF. All right, that was slow. We'll get into why that's slow. Let's go on. So I can make now directories. After I make them, I have to, I have to go to Sitan and click this download button. See that? Hello? Tuck. <gasps> See tan.org macros latex base. Dot zip whoops wrong key. Notes dot shell. Then download. Haha. Uh -huh. Actually, if you are to download something, you better download it in a separate directory. I don't want to lose what I downloaded because I want to keep it just in case, you know. Since I'm going to fiddle a lot with making and deleting those directories and remaking them and re-deleting them. What? I would probably want to keep the downloads somewhere separate. I don't want to lose them and have to re-download them. Now I need to enrich this one as well. Can I undo this? Yeah, it's actually very easy. You just remove the TechMF downloads. Alright. Ah, the router didn't work. It takes some time sometimes, so I have to like reconnect. Uh, let's show off actually. I'm gonna copy, take a MF, download, because I have done this actually. Uh, doc strip, called doc strip over there, base.zip, and I'm gonna copy, take a MF, download, because it has been created. The shell script did create it. Hello. And where were we? Find dot. Let's say we did it. And we also have notes on how to undo both. Problem. Actually many problems. Especially once you get into further into what you were what I'm doing is manually installing LATIC packages. So there are multiple problems to this which I'm not going to go into because I want this to be a short video. I plan on making a longer video where I go slower and deeper into how this actually, if you follow it to its logical conclusion, it turns into a package manager. There's a problem. How do I say shell node.shell 
only download. How do I say undo? I can't really do that. Why? There is a fundamental reason why. Because I'm being selfish. And I will not get any benefits because it says notes. But it's not just notes for me. The computer reads it as well. The shell reads it specifically. So since me and the computer read it, we need to speak a language what we can both understand equally well. And if we take a look at how I've written it, only four lines in here have syntax highlighting. Only four lines can be understood by the computer at all. This is selfish. It's like going to France and speaking your native language. <laughs> I don't know about this analogy, actually. Now, first make directories, make directories. Function definition. Don't execute anything. Just define a function. Download. The comment is gone. Now the computer can understand pretty much all of this. It doesn't understand what download means in the real world. But we can talk about the download thing. And both me and the computer will understand. But I'm referring to this from now on. Uh, undo all but download remove our tecmf undo download remove our tecmf downloads and now I have no comments actually nothing will run so you would want things to run down there I don't want to type down there but it, what will run I would like down here to just say do the thing that I'll define at the top of the file at the top of the file I'm gonna define main case one in a sack um, well if it's nothing and make directories and download if it's undo all then undo all but download and undo download and main and pass it any arguments that come into the shell script did I say this right? anyway <laughs> let's go back down so yeah let's move on a little make dir make directories sometimes it's worth to just type it on your own download download undo all undo all but download and undo download undo download and for anything else print the help message I because this isn't this the help you know how you could run head or something like that and you see this and you kind of get the point yeah case one make directory if I give make directory that will make the directories if I say dl it will download like this is actually your help message can you use it as a help message I guess you don't have to and it's kind of nasty to do but I want to do it and I'm sorry if you hate this I'm sorry I'm sorry help stops here said find the regular expression help stops here once you find it quit <laughs> and search it in yourself I'll give something that's none of the available commands such as help and therefore <laughs> oh I love it <laughs> and yeah this actually tells me what I can do right now I have everything so I can I guess undo all but download let me rename this I don't like move the notes.shell to do.shell I guess I don't like that one either but fine undo all but download ouch all but download worked 
shell do dot shell make directories. Now we can move on. The next steps involve oh I didn't take the date. God knows how long it's dragged on for that. The next step is to unzip it and then to go in the zip and run tech in the ins file. It's quite convoluted and there are many roadblocks along the way. Essentially you go into the nodes which are now called do.shell which makes more sense I hope. And while this file is less than 60 lines long or so, you go on and you add a little bit here, a little bit there. Actually, you add a little here, run it, add a little there, run it. Make sure to include whatever you added to the full stack, to the full list. Once you've have, you have undone things, you add a little here, run it, add a little there, run it, make sure you can always undo. At least you can undo in steps, so you can chain those together. I'll quickly reference what happens when you go further, because I have been through this, what you totally want. Can you notice that packages have quirks? To install this LaTeX package, you need to do things slightly different than normal. To install that LaTeX package, you do need to do things Again, slightly differently than normal, but in a different way as well. So the packages are quirky, and when you have many things that are similar but quirky, usually they are the point of interest. So what you would want to see is somewhere you would want to see for package case one in base, for example. And per package, you would go like download default download and unpack quirky unpack. I don't actually want it to look like quirky unpack, but you would want it to, you know. If it's quirky, you would want it to spell out exactly how it works. Uh, and you want each package to be here, so this reads out like configuration, where you can see all of the packages. And for each package you can get a sense, because you don't wonder You've started this way, so it's tempting to just to just inflate this. But you can't just inflate this, because you don't wonder how each package is downloaded. You don't want to see how the download can act for different packages. You want to see a package, a package, how it's downloaded, unpacked, unzipped, and all of that. You care about the actions of a package. You don't care about the packages of an action, usually. You can smell that, because packages are similar with quirks. That's a recurring theme that I, you know, I've already done this, but I did it the wrong way. So yeah, I think of making a longer version of this video, where I'll just go on and make it a little package manager. Meaning that by manually installing LATIC package, the difference between installing it manually and installing it through a package manager it's just that you're slower and that you are more integrated with your specific system and your specific needs. The difference is not that you can't undo it. The difference is not that you can't redo it. Manual installing is not too different from making a package manager, if you ask me. You triple the time that you would spend just installing it because you are installing it noting how you installed it and thinking how you can undo it per step. This is three times the amount of time and it quickly adds up if you just haven't done something similar and you feel blocked. So yeah, but to me it's worth it. I have no idea how long I've... 
Uh, 15 minutes, definitely. Anyway, maybe I'll do another take. Bye.